He grimaced at the crowd. Like the overachieving warrior oh, that he is. Oh, oh, Tyson's in trouble. What happened here? He got bit, I think. This is Africa, the cradle of mankind's birth, where powerful kingdoms arose with stories of worth. A youth-filled land, the youngest population, with diamonds and cocoa from its fertile foundation, exemplary leaders, their legacy told. Nkrumah, Mandela, their spirits bold. From Johnson Sirleaf's Liberia, where freedom lies, and her first female leader, so wise. Let courage and dreams unite as one for a brighter tomorrow where greatness is spawn in this beautiful, colorful, and friendly domain. Greatness awaits where hopes shall not wane, where tales of triumph weave a tapestry. Welcome to Today in African History. professional boxer and ex-world heavyweight champion. He was born on this day, October 19, 1962 in Atmore, Alabama. He was the youngest of nine children and began boxing at the age of 12 when he won the Boys Club Boxing Tournament. After intensive training to improve his physique and game, he finally contended for the world heavyweight title in 1990 after defeating James Buster Douglas in seven minutes, who back then held the World Boxing Association, International Boxing Federation and World Boxing Council of Championship titles. Evander Holyfield, Evander Holyfield lost his title to Riddick Bowe in 1992. This was his first professional defeat and he was devastated enough to contemplate retirement. However, however, listen to this guys, he picked himself up again and regained his title from Bo in 1993. The very next year, however, he lost it again to Michael Mora. For a time, his career came to a standstill as he struggled with health problems but he was soon back on track and jumped into the ring with one of the most famous boxers of all time, Mike Tyson, and guess what happened? Holyfield defeated Tyson in their very first match in 1996, winning the title of WBA champion. In 1997, he met Tyson in the ring for a second time during the match Tyson beat Holyfield's ear not once but twice the second time he even beat off 
a piece of his ear. The event received immense media coverage. So the year was 1997. Tyson became infamous as the boxer who bit off the ear of Evander Holyfield. That happened in the year 1997. I remember that year very vividly. Tyson became the most infamous boxer in the world up till that moment. Because what he did and people started calling him names, which I won't recount here out of respect for him. This happened a long time ago, over 20 years ago. So, Evander Holyfield again, pictured here, WBA champion. Note how he came back after considering retirement. He lost the match. He thought, I'm going to retire now. And he came back and he won. Not just one boxer, but another boxer who was world champion at the time and very, very famous. He won him in his first match with Mike Tyson. It's a lesson for all of us. Do not give up. Whatever you want to do in your life, do not give up. Keep trying. Keep looking for ways to improve. Keep getting better. The sky will not even be your limit as long as you don't give up. I hope you have enjoyed listening to the video today. Another short one. Thanks for dropping by. If you're here for the first time, this is what we do every single day. Our videos are usually not this short. Um, if you do like what we're doing, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell so that you're notified whenever a new video is released. If you've been here before and you like what we're doing, you haven't liked the video or shared the video or subscribed to the channel, do that so that we can grow as a channel and we can spread this video to other like-minded people. That would be very, very helpful. Thanks in advance. Have a fantastic day and see you tomorrow, October 20th. Bye for now.